All right, if you have no foreseeable goals for the future, I don't think there's a very specific thing you can say if somebody asks you what do you want to do when you grow up or what are your plans for the future. The first best thing you can do is if you're not sure yet, um, I don't think you're really sure. You just got to keep going, but the first thing for starters is you got to get the I don't know out of mind. Because plans aren't set in stone and shit. However, if you can't think of anything in specific, at least think of something positive for starters. So instead of saying I don't know or I'm not sure or things of that nature or even worse saying that you're an underachiever and you're smart but you're lazy which is how a lot of Americans including me are what you can do is you can say this you can say if someone asks what do you want to be when you grow up or what are your plans for the future you can say lots of things quote lots of things unquote it's a very interesting thing to say and I tried it before and it seems very interesting because yeah it's vague but it's a start and it's a positive start which is like, I'm not an optimist and I don't really encourage optimism the way I see it optimism is used in this culture to promote stupidity, mental laziness, feminism, being fat and ugly, being a complete sociopath, being an unlikable person, having shitty tastes in various subjects, basically being a degenerate. That's what optimism advocates for. Being a complete degenerate and hiding the fact that you're part of a herd with something completely stupid. However, optimism is a good thing. It's a tool. And what you use optimism for is to make yourself seem, well, to build yourself up in strength with truth and honesty and start from there. Start from a good principle. That's the way I like to see it. So instead of saying, I don't know, just say lots of things. Because that means you're interested in a lot of things. Odds are, if you can't think of anything in specific, it's just because this world is such a vast, interesting place, even though it's full of bullshit, and you need it to be filtered out a little. You need some filtering, some shit in the short term to focus on, and then you can have a better foreseeable future in the long term. Because I can guarantee you that you have a better idea of who you are now and what kind of world this is now than many moons ago. And you have a bigger idea of what you like and what you don't like. It's still not very specific, it's still very broad, but instead of saying I don't know, now you can say lots of things. There's lots of things I'm interested in. And you no longer feel like you're setting yourself in stone. <sighs> hope I helped out. I hope my advice wasn't fucking horrible. This has been Mr. Waka 7. No, I don't... I don't want to conclude this video with a corny phrase. I'm just going to end it here.